Camera movement is one of the many factors that makes a video look cinematic, and one camera movement that I've been seeing show up more and more the past few years has been what I call the rolling shot, where the camera does up to a full 360 degree roll. This used to be a movement that would likely be reserved for films with large budget filmmaking gear, but now nearly every gimbal has this capability as well, making the rolling shot another cinematic movement that you can add to your filmmaking arsenal. However, just like any other type of camera movement in film, you want to have a reason for moving the camera in that way that will help with the storytelling aspect of your film, rather than simply adding it because it looks cool. So let's take a look at some examples of this rolling shot being used to enhance the storytelling of a film and compare that to other times where it doesn't make much sense as to why it was used. Starting with one of my favorite examples in Black Panther, Killmonger has just defeated T'Challa and is taking over as king. As he's walking up to take the throne, the camera starts upside down and slowly rolls around, signifying how everything has been turned upside down from what everyone expected to happen as this new leader is about to change their entire way of living and interacting with outside nations. Another Marvel example here is in the beginning of Doctor Strange 2. As America is about to be pulled through a portal that she unintentionally opened, Doctor Strange also starts getting pulled toward the portal, and the camera begins spinning along with him while he's spinning, which then cuts to a continuation of the camera spinning along with the slide backwards as Doctor Strange wakes up in his bed. I thought this was a cool way of showing him transitioning from a crazy dream back into reality when he wakes up, followed by another push in as he realizes where he is. Another example of of a good use of this movement is here in Mulan when this lady who's able to control people's minds approaches the soldier and then proceeds to take over his mind. The camera begins rolling as it also pushes in toward the soldier's face to emphasize how she's twisting and taking over his mind. And those are a few examples of uses where the movement definitely enhances the story and draws you into the scene more. So let me know down in the comments if you've noticed this type of rolling shot in any other films. And before we move on to the bad examples of this shot, let's take a look at a few more where the rolling shot is used in a a cool way, but it doesn't necessarily have a deeper meaning behind it. Here in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, it's used in a cool way for a transitional shot. Jack's compass begins spinning, and the camera also then begins to spin in sync with it in an overhead shot, which then transitions to a horizontal spinning shot in sync with the helm of Captain Salazar's ship, and is combined with the dolly backwards until it reveals him coming into frame. So moving back to Mulan again, we're now at the beginning of a fight scene where she runs and the camera rolls with her as she's flipping up some scaffolding. This doesn't necessarily add to the story, but it does make for an interesting looking shot during an action sequence. And last in this section, we have this scene from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, where the Indoraptor is about to enter this girl's bedroom. The camera follows the dinosaur across the roof, and then follows the dinosaur into an upside down position showing its point of view, and then begins to spin as the dinosaur reaches for the door handle. I think this shot would have looked slightly cooler if the dinosaur actually opened the door during this shot while the camera was finishing spinning, so the camera would continue forwards through the door as it opened before cutting to the frightened girl and bed. Nevertheless, it's still a pretty cool looking shot. But now let's move on to the bad uses of this shot. Here in an episode of Star Trek Discovery, we have the camera spinning in space as the ship goes by and then continue spinning as two officers walk into a room. This is similar to the pirate shot, but it doesn't quite work for me because in pirates we move from one spinning object that the camera is in sync with to another so it flows well. But here in Star Trek, we move from spinning in space to the inside of the ship where there's really no reason for the camera to be spinning and simply just feels disorienting for no reason. And they actually do this often in multiple episodes. Next up is the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. As Yondu passes under, the camera follows him and ends up upside down, and it then proceeds to begin a roll as he continues by. This isn't really necessary aside from the fact of simply wanting the camera to turn back upright in the same shot, and I will say that the hole at the end with all the colors makes the shot look quite aesthetic while rolling because the camera is rolling around something that is circular. And finally, we have this shot from Isn't It Romantic when Natalie is running to a church to stop a wedding. When we cut to the church, the camera starts upside down and spins around 180 degrees while craning back and down as she runs up to the door. I don't really see any reason at all for the shot to be this way rather than simply trying to do something that looks cool and different. And that brings us back to the reason for camera movements. There are many different types of shots that can make a video look more cinematic, but remember to try to have a reason for why that type of shot is going to be used. You need 
to know whether it will bring your audience into the story more or just be a distraction because even though it may look cool, it's simply out of place. And I have a lot of other videos on the channel that will help you improve your filmmaking, whether that's learning basic camera settings, how various types of framing affect your shots, lighting techniques, and more videos on other cinematic camera movements to help you understand how and why to move your camera. So subscribe if you want to see more like this and check out my playlist that have a lot of videos that will help you improve your skills. Hit that like button if this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.